Welcome to East Coast Healthy Reviews. Today we're reviewing a beer by Toppling Goliath Brewing Co. This is their Oktoberfest Lager. It says limited edition. On the back it says raise a glass of Oktoberfest in celebration and watch as the light dances off its rich amber color. Enjoy a beautiful bouquet of soft caramel and biscuit before the first sip blankets your palate with multi notes of fresh baked bread. Pretty good description. Unfiltered beer sediment is normal. Brewed in beautiful Decora, Iowa. It says 5.2% alcohol by volume. Package 71922. Best by 115.23. Uh, today is December 26th. 27th? December 27th. So this is a this is within its uh, Best Buy date, uh, but a little bit on the older side. Should be still fresh. It is an Oktoberfest. Um, five months old. Yeah, five, five months in a week. Let's uh, let's crack this open. All right, got my Trillium Pub glass here. Let's pour it up. Yeah, a little hazy. It's got a little bit of a murky, uh golden I'd say yeah a little murky golden in color and uh, off-white kind of going towards khaki colored head just about two fingers of a kind of frothy creamy looking head uh, kind of sudsy rocky on top holding some good retention though tight knit bubbles on the side some effervescence yeah, looks pretty good. Let's check out the nose. Lots of caramel. It's actually got a, a good fruity aroma to it. Apple. Apple and lemon. Kind of different. But yeah, caramel malt. Biscuity breadiness, like I said, apple, slightly floral, lemony, grassy aroma. Yeah, big breadiness. It smells pretty good. It smells like your uh, your standard Oktoberfest, with a little bit more of a fruity characteristic to it. Not overly sweet. Let's, uh, let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah. Some roasted malts. Not as sweet as I thought it would be. Um, you get a little bit of that caramel malt. Definitely more on the bready side. Very biscuity, bready. I kind of get the apple on the palate as well. Lemon, a little grapefruit. A little bit of an astringency. It's actually like a little bit of like a tartness. Like a touch of bitterness. And then grassy, floral, lemony aftertaste with that big, biscuity, bready backbone. Not overly malty, but a good amount of malts. So it's got a, a good amount of sweetness. If I were to use the Cyclops scale for this, um, I'd say it's about two and a half out of five sugar cubes and about three out of five hop cones. Um, so it's a little bit more on the floral uh, side with um, a little bit more bitterness than your typical uh, Oktoberfest lager. Very crisp, refreshing, drinkable, medium carbonation, light to medium bodied. It's good. It's a solid Oktoberfest. I would buy it again. 
I believe I got a, I believe a four pack was $12. So not bad, um, considering Top and Goliath beers. Uh, sometimes are a little bit more expensive. Well, definitely more expensive for like their IPAs and stuff. But uh, yeah, I think I did, they, I think I did. I think they did a good job with this one. I'm gonna give it a, I'll give the beer a solid, I'll go 91. I like it. I like how it's a little bit different than your typical Oktoberfest. It's not overly sweet like some of these are. Some Oktoberfests are like candy malt bomb. Excuse me. But uh, yeah, I'm going to recommend it if you guys see it. If you still see it on the shelves, uh, try it out. Grab a four pack. Grab a single can if you can. Uh, and if not, uh, hopefully they bring it out next year. So uh, yeah. Yeah. solid beer and there you have it if there's anything else that you guys like seeing my channel make sure to leave a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my upcoming videos like beer thanks for watching guys cheers